Hey, it's Jen with another Tech Tips 411 quick tip video. Today I'm going to show you how to use voice to animate a really cool tool inside of Adobe Express. You can use it to create engaging videos for your students, or you can have your students create content, biographies, PSAs, or just retelling of a story. I don't know about you all, but I am so excited. Let's check it out. The first thing you're going to want to do is log into your Adobe Express account. This used to be a separate tool, but it is now native in the Adobe Express dashboard. So now you're going to see it right here. So animate from audio. So I'm going to click on record. Now what's great about this tool is it is cloud based and it has a lot of flexibility in terms of characters, but there are a few things I do want to point out. So you can record your, your character's dialogue. I would advise that you script it out or for your students, you have them write a script. So it's a really good writing activity that they have to brainstorm and write out what they're going to share for their creation. Also, you're going to record it. You have a max of two minutes or there is a new feature here that is the enhanced speech. What that does is it makes those voice recording sounds if you were in a studio. It kind of eliminates that background noise. This is a great option if you're letting your students record in the same area, if they're in the classroom, and to cut out that background noise, it will kind of take away that echoey sound. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select my character. So there is an all, there is new, so you can see what's new, but you have all people, young people, professional people, costume characters, creatures, animals, zodiac, emojis, robots, classroom, sports, food, Music, mouth only. I think that one's a little interesting. Springtime, heart, haunt, and wintertime. So I'm going to go with sports. Uh, it's Olympic time right now. So uh, I'm going to grab one of these. So I'm going to select this footy. Now, the next step is I can pick my background. Uh, what's great about this is they give you a number of background options of just textured backgrounds, cartoon backgrounds, uh, actual settings. So I could put footy in the library, that might not be appropriate. So I might want to say footies in the locker room. There is an option to upload your own background. So if you're trying to create a, a video to introduce yourself to your students, you could have a picture of the classroom and you can pick a character that goes with it. I can also choose the size I want this video to be. So do I want it to be a square, which is a typical social media size, or do you want it to be landscape or Instagram or portrait? I'm going to select record. It does give me a countdown. Make sure that I allow my microphone. So I can click done. What it's doing is it's enhancing that audio, which takes a little bit more time because I've selected that option. And then it's going to go through and sync my voice with the character. So as you can see, it says completing the lip sync and it gives you a percentage. All right, we're 100% complete. So I'm going to get two options here. It's going to open up here in this preview window where I can play it. I don't know about you all, but I am so excited that it I have another option of where I can just download this so I could take it as is and export it and use it in another tool. Uh, or I can choose to open it in the editor. Now that I've opened the video here in the video editor, what I can do is I can look for content. So I can go to media and I'm going to search for Olympic soccer and I can bring in a video here. So I'm going to grab this video here. But what's great is I can play around. Now I opted to put the locker room background in in the video. Uh, you can do that if you're not going to really go in and do advanced stuff. But what I can also use is the magic of background remover and remove this background. And I'm while that magic is happening, I just clicked on this button over here that says remove background and I'm going to replace this as uh, send to the back and make this be the new background. Magic is happening, removing that background. I can also go over here to text. I can add my text by just saying uh, soccer. And notice it removed that background and I can move my little soccer character around. I can move this here, I can change to make this more dynamic, fill this with some white text so it kind of pops a little bit more. I can go in here and give it a shadow have that pop out a little bit more. And I'm going to uh, add another text effect to this one, change the color again. And now if I were to play my video, we're talking about soccer. I don't know about you all, but I am so excited that it is the Paris Olympics. So playing around with this, I can get really creative and create an engaging video to introduce a topic as a PSA, so many options. Once you've created your masterpiece here, you can easily download it or choose to share it 
which will give a link that you can share out to Google Classroom, to your Teams for your students, or you can copy a link for people to access it. I can't wait to see what you create. Thanks for watching. <laughs>